Good morning, my name is Bethany and it's a beautiful day on Osgood Pond and this morning I'm going to show you how to make a birch basket. So to begin with, you need to find a nice sized chunk of birch. Uh, make sure you don't take it from a live tree that it's dead down and detached. And then you're going to cut it to size. We're looking for a square. Squares or rectangles are the shape of the day. You want to get out the tougher, rougher pieces. Um, if your birch is splitting, you can get more birch out of one. It's easy to cut with and rip. So now we have a nice sized piece of birch. When you're looking for birch, you want something thicker than paper, but thinner than cardboard. So now we're making a very simple basket. We are going to cut in each corner. And if you notice that corners are 90 degree angles, you're making two 45 degree angles. You're cutting right in the middle of that 90 degree angle. And you want your cuts to be the same length, about two inches, two inches in you're cutting. Even up your cuts, if one got a little longer than the other, The more you cut in, the deeper the bowl you'll have. So now I'm going to flex them in. Birch can break very easily. You can wet birch before you work with it. You can hear how it cracks a little bit, but that's okay. So this is a tuck and fold method for a bowl. You can see the bowl already starting to take form a bit, just like that. This is going to be a very simple tray. So we are all set with one corner now. So I'm going to get my sinew and needle. So this is some imitation sinew. Sinew typically comes from, well sinew comes from the back of animals and tendons. This however is plant based. It has no animal in it. All right, so doing a simple stitch just going in. And bring it over. Back under. And over again. So start on the inside so that your knot is on the inside. Just bring it over. So now I'm down to the last corner. You can see a basket is taking shape. This will be perfect for picking some blackberries. With the corner stitch, it's good to go over a few times, reinforce it a bit. And then for tie off, I do a Pretty simple overhand knot. I do a square knot. So now we have a nice birch basket to pick some berries in. Now you can see the corners. You can cut them. This basket right here, I've cut, you know, so you have a nice rounded effect. I'm gonna uh, take these corners off real quick round it out so they don't snag. Now a basket like this, you do have to be careful with it. It's made out of birch bark and it can break. If a corner rips out, just reinforce it with a little more sinew. Okay, so we started today with a simple tray birch basket and you can see these two right here. So there, you're pretty simple. You can do baskets in about 10 to 30 minutes. Another type of basket uh, that you can make out of birch is a more uh, cylinder one with a bottom that you sew in. We will get to this later in the semester. And this is another one I'm working on. You can see I'm using an awl and sinew to put in a bottom. This piece of birch, actually, you can find pieces that the wood or the inner part of the tree has just rotted out of 
and it's still in that circle shape. So those are really easy for basket making because all you have to do is fit a bottom to it. So that's pretty neat. This one, I took a sheet of birch, sewed it together, and then sewed in a bottom and added a little bit of trimming on the top. So you can get as simple and as fancy as you want and we'll show you a variety. It's September 10th and we still have a good amount of blackberries and they have been delicious. <laughs> 